WordPress 6.3 is set to arrive on August 8th, 2023. This will be the second major release of 2023 and will come with some significant new features and improvements. So let's take a look at what's coming up. One of the first things that we're going to look at is based on the full site editor. With 6.2, these were the design items that you can make changes on. And now with 6.3, you see all these other features that are coming out. So let's take a look at some of these for your site. One of the biggest ones is navigation. Before with 6.2, you had to go in, click on a template part on the navigation and make it, and then they've pulled it out over in this area. So it has one dedicated location. So when you click on the navigation, this is what it is. And you can make changes here. You can rename it, you can duplicate it, or you can delete it and also edit it right from here. And if you need to, you can start adding more areas and label them, add descriptions and what have you. Once you're done with all of that, you can click save changes. Then you can go back to now your new navigation. If you ever want to go back to your full site editor area, you can click on the WordPress icon and it'll take you back. And now we see we have two items in our menu area on our navigation area. Very big improvement over what was happening before. And another big change. Another big change is now you have an area where you can open a command palette. The command palette is a super interesting way to go where you want to go without having to navigate to that. Meaning if you know what you want to deal with, with styles, you can simply start typing in the open navigation or open style variation. If you're wanting to work on pages or posts, simply start typing those in and it will open those areas for you. You can get this either by clicking on the magnifying glass here. This is all within the full site editor. Let me go to control or command K and it will bring up the command palette. So just know that this is a great feature for you if you know what you want to work on, but you're not quite sure where that is. The next thing we want to take a look at are patterns. Patterns are collections of blocks that come together in a meaningful way. You can see that from here that we have all these patterns. If there's a padlock next to it, then the pattern is created by a theme and then you'll have your own patterns that you can create and they'll be up here. The other interesting thing about patterns is now you have this concept of being a synced pattern or non synced pattern. You can see right here, it's not synced. That means that whatever I've created, I can use in a page or a template area. And if I make changes to that, it will only make the changes to that location. If I want to create a sync pattern, then I can create a new one and it will say down here to keep all patterns instances in sync. And when I say yes, then that means when I create the pattern, whatever I change to that pattern will now be changed all across the whole website. We also have this area where you can now edit pages right from within this area. So these are all the pages that I have. And if I want to edit any of them, I can simply click on it again, get an overview of what's going on on this page, and then I can make the changes. These changes are being made on, and these are being updated immediately. Going back to the overall pages, I can also create a new page right from here if I want to. Now let's take a look about being able to preview a block theme in the site editor. Before it was calling a classic theme. You could always preview that without activating it on your site, but that wasn't exactly true with full site editor theme. And so they've made some changes and let me show you what that looks like. If you go into appearance themes, any theme that you've installed on your site, that is a full site editor theme, you can hover over it. You can click live preview and then it will bring that in. So you can see what this theme looks like before you decide to install and activate it. Now let's talk about style revisions. WordPress will make it easy to undo changes in posts or pages. And now they've brought that feature into the full site editor as well. If there's anything that you need to make a change to, you can simply come up to styles. You see a revision area here and you'll see the revision history. So I can click on any of these to see what revisions I made. And if there's a revision that I want to stick with or move back to, then you can click apply. Otherwise you can set to default. Now let's take a look at some of the block editor improvements. First off, we have two new blocks. The footnote block is one where you want to make a footnote and you bring it down. You can simply click on the item, click on the drop down, and save footnote. And then when you do that, it'll add a footnote for you. We'll show you what that looks like. I'm referencing something in this paragraph. I want to create a footnote. So I'm going to say footnote and it will automatically bring this as number one. It'll change this to number two. And now I can go down here and make the changes. The other block is a details block. 
With the details block, it will add text in a hidden area and then you can click on something to reveal the text in it. Then this is what we'll do. So onto a new line and do a forward slash. You can also click on the plus icon up here to start looking for it, but we're looking for details. And from here you can write the summary and then you can write what is the text that you're going to hide. I have an example down here and this is what I wrote. And this is what the hidden text is. And when you see it in action, when they do the drop down, then this is what they'll find. We can see that the details block could be very handy replacement for accordions, which are commonly used for an FAQ. They've also brought in a better way of handling padding and margin controls. If you go into any item that you want, you can go into the dimensions and do padding, and then you can see a visual representation of what's happening with the padding. So you get a better idea of what's going on. Like this padding is going around this block, and then if you want to change that up, then you can also change the dimensions. You can do margin, and then you can make the changes there, and it'll also show you what happens as well. They've also added a better aspect ratio of images. So when you add an image under the aspect ratio, these are the items that you can choose from. You wanna make sure that it makes your image look good, but these are the ratios that you can pick from or just choose the original. If you wanna add a link anywhere, now you can search for the link and it will either try and come up with the post or a page that you can link to, or if you need to create a new page from here, it will immediately allow you to create that page. So it went out and created the page and now I can link to that. Now you'll just need to go into that page and update it with the information that you need. I'll also click on and edit this. You can go into advance, allow to open a new window. And then they've also made some under the hood changes that we always talk about. If you wanna take a look at those, you can check out our written tutorial on our website. We'll have a link in the description below. Overall, they're really moving fast and forward towards the full site editor, and these updates really showcase that. If you have any of your favorite updates that you wanna share, let us know in the comments below, and thanks for watching.